listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettians out there in Gwinnett Land and all of you around the world. Listen to the sound of my voice. Uh oh. Got to turn my light on. It's a little bit dark. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today is Wednesday, October the 6th. It is also a very rainy day here again in Georgia. 69 degrees going up to a high of 74. So we got a, a rainy day here in Georgia. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It's hump day, baby. You have made it to the middle. You only got three more days. Well, two more days. Well, counting the days like three more days. Three more days to go. So I hope you made it to the middle. It's a beautiful day here because um, I'm here. That's that's why it's a beautiful day, even though it's raining. Y'all know I hate rain, but it's a, you know, what can you do? What can you do? Anyway, um, today is also national, uh-oh. Okay, LinkedIn. Hi, LinkedIn user. I don't know who LinkedIn user is. You sent me a message. I'll check it out today. I was a little crazy yesterday, but I'll check it out today. Thanks again for stopping in, though. Appreciate you. Um, and I'm going to talk slower today. Okay. Today is National Pumpkin Seed Day. It's also National Walk to School Day. Like, I remember when I used to be little, we used to walk to school. When I was younger, like, you said, like here in Georgia, you don't walk to school. You catch the bus. In Jersey, you walk to school. Rain, sleet, and snow, unless you get on the pay, unless you get on the city bus. And if you ain't had no money or no bus tickets, you had to walk. So I used to walk most of the time. Sometimes I would ride the bus, but most of the time, my cousins and I, we walked over the west side. So shout out to my people over in Newark, New Jersey. Yes. Yep, born in Georgia, raised in Jersey. I'm a peach by way of the bricks, or I'm a, I'm a brick owner, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a brick city babe by way of the peach. I don't know, I'm one of those. I told somebody that this morning. It's also National Plus Size Appreciation Day. I didn't even know they had such a thing, but hey, hey, hey to all my big girls out there, big boys, yes. Yep. National Orange Wine Day. Really? Orange wine? How does that taste? I don't know. I don't know. National Noodle Day. I don't like noodles. Like, I rarely eat a noodle. Like, I will eat fettuccine sometimes, but I don't eat spaghetti. I don't like spaghetti. There's something about spaghetti that I do not like. I will eat I will eat fettuccine, but that's about it. My daughter loves pasta. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I'm coming through choppy. Okay, I don't know what's going on. You know I'm still trying to get my sound right. I'm trying to get there. Hopefully my... Let me see. It's all right. I'm buying me a Rose mic starting. I'm buying me a Rose mic today. I was up this morning at 5 o'clock looking at mics. I'm giving me a Rose, so I hope hopefully that's going to help my sound quality. Is that better, LinkedIn user? LinkedIn user, can you tell me your name? Are you, are you, are you like, are they looking for you? That's why I don't know your name. I'm just trying to find out. Like, is that better? I don't know. May, hopefully it is. Hopefully it's coming through pretty good. Um. But I'm going to go ahead and get on with these horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Micah Thyssen. Let me tell y'all something. One thing I have learned to do is understand that um, sometimes you need somebody to help you out. So I appreciate LinkedIn users stopping by to say, hey, you sound a little choppy this morning. And I don't know. My mic is normally pretty good. But I was fumbling around with my system yesterday, so I could have messed some stuff up. Um, but I am giving me a new mic. I was up this morning. I have a bunch of mics, but none of them are like a Rose or a Shore. And I stopped using my Yeti, which I may have to go back to. And the reason I did, because for some reason, the mic that I use now picks up better. But I realized my audio could be cleaner if I get another mic. Carry on as a Facebook user may be good. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, I will carry on. Thank you very much. Hopefully, Facebook users can hear me. I got a thumbs up on Facebook, so maybe it sounds okay over there. Um, anyway. I am getting me new mics, and I looked at Rose this morning, and I was like, I was up early too, y'all, like 5.30, and I don't know, I woke up this morning thinking about the show, and I was like, yeah, I think I need to get a new mic, and so my goal is to get me a couple of Rose uh, mics just to have in-house if I need them, because you never know when you're going to need them. Um, I have a ton of different kind of mics, but I don't, I don't think I got the best quality, even though when you go on Amazon, you get like, a, um, you know, you, I look at the reviews. I always look at the reviews when I buy stuff because I want to make sure, you know, I'm getting the best. So I look at the reviews, but what I realized is that 
people who buy the microphone may not necessarily be podcasting as a professional. So it just may be something to do. And I'm thinking, well, I need to get the best of the best. So in looking at that, I looked at some shores. I looked at some roads. And I like USB because I don't have the um I don't have the mixer. Although I have considered getting the Rodecaster Pro. We have one at the office, like at, at the studio. Like at the studio, we have the whole we got all the roads mic. And maybe I just need to move to the studio. Seriously, y'all, we got a studio. We have a studio with four roads mic, right? And a Rodecaster Pro. But I'm so I'm so used to doing everything out my house to but I gotta go to the studio after the show, so I may have to really think about like doing the show from the studio. And my partner, he is just constantly making the studio better and better. And he's like, Oh, you're made some changes, you gotta come see him. So I'm going to the studio after this. We have four roadcaster road mics and we have a roadcaster pro at the studio. And I just I don't know, I just I'm so used to doing it. We got ring lights, we have everything we need in the studio. Nobody really goes in there and podcast. Except for he's really focused on um uh, launching out his podcast. He was my he was my client and he just fell in love with podcasting. So now we're good friends and now we have a studio together. But he came to me to learn how to launch his podcast and I showed him how to do that. And now he has all the equipment and I'm his partner in the studio and we never go in the studio. How crazy is that, right? I got an office. I got a whole big desk over there. I got the whole shebang over in the studio. Everything. And I, I just, I'm just stuck on my home office. And, um, but I think I'm going to have to literally move out the office and <sighs> yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I shouldn't have to go buy rolls. We have four and headphones. We got the whole bank. We got the, we got the 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 whole soundproof. We have everything, you know. So I'm I know I'm talking on a tantrum, but I'm thinking about this as I as I sit here and talk to you guys. I'm like, yeah, Audrey, you might just wanna you might just wanna go ahead and go to the studio where everything is. Anyway, let's go. I'm gonna do the horoscopes brought to you by Noda Astrology and Micah Thyssen for today, Wednesday, October the sixth. We're gonna kick it up six. Um, kick it up like we always do, and that is with Aries. You can continue to forge ahead if you make a few long-distance calls pertinent to close and pending deals. Although upsetting changes in your domestic situation will be favorable. Make sure all of your travel and driver's documents are in proper order. If you are traveling, make sure you got your passport, your ID is up to date, you got everything you need before you start traveling, especially trying to get on the airplane. I remember one time my husband and I was about to fly somewhere. And so my husband, his name is really weird. I, and I keep telling him, you got to fix that. So on his birth certificate, it says one thing. On his social security card, it says something totally different. So um, when they booked, my daughter booked the plane tickets. She booked it based on how we use it. But on his driver's license, it says something else. We were barely able to get on the plane. Like we almost did not get on the plane. So he had to fix that. Because it, it, it's spelled differently on, on those two documents. And so they go according to what's on your birth certificate and driver's license. He go according to what his mom named him. And they missed the letter in his name. So, but you can't do that. And so we barely got on the plane that day. So make sure your, your, um, your, your documents are in order. Taurus, things have been moving so quickly that you need to do something physical to release your tension. Go out with friends. Time to deal with institutional governments institutional environments, government agencies, and matters of private um, private nature today. The time is to now. Do that stuff now. Don't put it off. Handle your business, Taurus. If you got to deal with the government, if you got to deal with environmental agencies, whatever it is, handle it today. It's important. Don't put it off. I know you want to. Oh, okay. Well, sorry people listening on LinkedIn. I don't know why I'm breaking up on LinkedIn. Um, I haven't really done anything too different. So, I don't know. It could be, I don't know. You know, technology is nuts. And I can't cut you off right now. Okay, I'm going to contact you right after I finish, for real. All right. As soon as I get off, I'm not going to even get up from my computer. I'm going to contact you, contact you, uh, LinkedIn user. Gemini, don't allow personal problems to conflict with professional duties. Keep calm. Someone around you is bouncing off the walls. You must try to include your mate in your activities today. Somebody around you is bouncing off the wall. Okay, thanks, Leon. All right, cool. Leon here, thank you. I will contact you as soon as I get finished. Um, somebody around you today, Gemini, is bouncing off the walls. Why? You should be asking yourself that question. Like, what's wrong with you? That's what you really want to say. Sit down. What's the matter with you? They having a uh, they having a bad day. Maybe already. Right, it's early. It's too early to be having a bad day. Cancer, you need to keep the place. You need to keep the peace, and you will have to bend in order to do so. 
Focus on what's important rather than spreading yourself too thin and accomplishing little. You can make career moves that will bring you much a much higher income. Yeah, make some moves. I got moves I'm making. I got things I'm doing. Um, I know sometimes it's scary. I was talking to one of my good friends last night, and um, she was telling me, you know, Tom, she's been in the same career for a very long time. <laughs> I'm laughing, y'all, because cause Leon Henry over here, he's telling me, keep it slow, so I don't sound like I have an orange in my mouth. Okay, okay Leon, I'm, I'm getting there. This, He's my coach. He's my LinkedIn coach. Sound and speech. Yeah, I have one. I have a coach. He just, yeah, he coaches me every morning. Thank you. I'm going to slow down. Okay. Anyway, I have a friend. She's changing careers. Well, she's not changing careers. She's been in her same career for a very long time, since like 1997. But her company has been has gone through mergers and acquisitions. And she's kind of been in the same position the whole time. And she was like, it's just, I need to do something different. But she said to me, I was afraid. You know, I was afraid to make a move. We just had this conversation last night. She said, I was afraid to make a move. And sometimes fear... Fear makes you stop to do a lot of things. Honestly, if I was, if I, I could be scared right now to say anything because my everything is screwing up on the other side that I can't control. But sometimes you have to kind of just step out on faith and just know that change is good, and you could be holding yourself back from better things like much high, a better career, more money. So you gotta think about those things. So anyway, cancer, um, you could make some good career moves. It's gonna bring you some money, some some higher income. Leo. You can learn from those who have had similar experiences. You can meet someone who will become very dear to you. If you get out and socialize, you can make financial gains through your unique and creative approach to business. Like you can meet somebody, but you got to get out and socialize. They're not going to knock on your door, Leo. You got to get out. You got to socialize. And if you're thinking about making some extra cash, if you have some unique and creative ideas or some unique and creative approaches to things that could be good for the business. So you got to think outside the box just a little bit. I know you don't like to be outside of the box that much. My Leo friends that are the women, they don't think, they don't like to think outside the box. Not, not a lot of them. They're very structured on a lot of things they do. That's what makes them really good people though, because they handle business. And I know two that are really, really good. Um, Virgo, empty promises are evident. Uncertainties regarding your love life will surface if you have neglected your mate. Remember what I said the other day, don't neglect your mate, Virgo, because Jody and um, the cleanup woman, they just, they're around the corner waiting. I'm just trying to help you out. You can accomplish a lot if you direct your thoughts towards starting your own small business on the side. Listen, y'all know how I feel about starting a business. You know, um, I will say this, I always have, I always have to give the disclaimer. You can start your own business, but you must be prepared mentally because this is a journey. And it is a rocket journey, for, especially when you're starting out. And there's a lot of ups and downs and hills you have to go down and valleys you go down in. There's a lot to it. Now, I'm not saying that to deter anyone from starting a business. I just want you to come in with some real, some real, some real knowledge about what it's going to take for you to be successful. It's going to take you being committed. It's going to take you growing thick skin. It's going to take you being focused. It's going to take you... Um, being willing to stick to it like you have all these things coming to play and if you stick it out success will come but you got to know and you got to know why you're doing it and you can't be chasing money don't be chasing money you got to be chasing the dream like if you're chasing the money you're gonna fizzle out i can tell you that real quick because <clears throat> i chased plenty of money in my day and when i got to the point i was like oh my god i hate this that's because i was chasing the money and not the dream so don't chase the money, chase the dream, and be ready to stick it out and stay, stay there. Because that's the hard part. The hard part is not starting. The hard part, part is sticking it out. That's the hard part. Like you can, I was telling somebody the other day, we were talking about, um, I'm working with a nonprofit, and they, they're launching an entrepreneurship program for women <clears throat> who have been incarcerated. And, um, and I was telling them, I said, you know, helping the women launch the business, that's the easy part. It's them, them, them making the decision to stick it out. That's the hard part. And I've worked with women who have been challenged um, by their environment. You know, their, um, you know, they some of them have been locked up. Some have been, you know, in relationships with, with men who were locked up. Some have been on welfare, generational welfare. I worked with that population before, and I could tell you, it takes a mindset change right out the gate. 
Now, that's not all that easy, but that's what it's going to take. It's going to take a mindset change, and then it's going to take them understanding that you got to do something that you're going to be passionate about. So, you know, I said all that to say, uh, Virgo, you can start your small business on the side, but do some, do your due diligence first. I would tell anybody, the, the quickest way to learn about small businesses and see if something that you really want to do, go out and interview a bunch of them. Interview a bunch of small businesses. And I guarantee you, when you get finished talking to about 100 of them, not even 100, let's say 35, 40, 50, let's say 50. Talk to 50 entrepreneurs, right? Listen to their stories and determine and decide, is this something you want to do? Because they're going to give you some stories. They're going to tell you some stuff like, oh, my God, I don't know if I want to do that. Or, oh, my God, I can do that. So you're going to get either yes, I can or no, I can't. But they're going to tell you the things that they went through. So I would tell anybody, if you're thinking about becoming an entrepreneur, go out and talk to 50 of them. If you can't talk to them, go out and listen to 50 entrepreneur stories. Like, listen to the real story. Not Don't listen to the fluffy stories where they became millionaires or they did such big things. Listen to them stories where they talk about, I cried at night because I was like, I made a mistake. Listen to those stories because those are the stories that's going to inspire you to say, oh, my God, that's me. You know, those are the stories. All right, listen, we're going to go to a song. I'll be right back after the song to give you more of the horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Micah Thyssen. So stay tuned. Oh, crap, something is wrong with my system. Why can't I hear the music? Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want to be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been thinking by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah. the show and make me not be focused i'm looking at my studio and i see that the studio is actually i see my i see my voice moving i see i see all of that stuff but for some reason and i got a thumbs up on facebook but for some reason they're saying they can't hear me so you know i'm, I'm gonna be freaking out the whole time so this may be a short show i'm looking at my i'm looking at both of my studios i have two of them and they both are saying that my voice is going but someone just hit me on Facebook and say they can't hear me 
on LinkedIn, they said it was choppy and I haven't done anything really different to the system. So I don't know if that is a glitch from, I don't know what that is because I'm looking at my studio and now I'm waiting for somebody to tell me whether or not they can hear me from my actual, my actual link, uh, my actual, cause the, the video live, I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm actually waiting for to see, can they hear me through? Through my through the, through the studio for the podcast. Anyway, I'm going to keep it going. If I get a text message or anything saying that they can't hear me, I will end the show because I don't want to. I don't want you to just be looking at my mouth moving. You can't hear what I'm saying. Or I don't want the thing that my, my player to say live and you don't hear anything. I can't. Plus, I'm not going to be able to focus. I'm just going to say that. Just in case you can't hear me, I'm going to keep it going with the horoscopes. We're going to pick it up with Libra. Your talents might just be discovering. Children may be less than honest with you. Socializing will be more than just entertaining. Include friends and family. Okay, listen. Your talents will be discovered, but you got to put them out there. They won't be discovered if the only place you're singing is in the bathroom. If the only place your paintings go when you paint them is in your closet. If the only place the things that you wear, that you make, the only place you see them, they're in a drawer... No one's going to discover you that way. They're not going to come in your house and say, hey, we're looking for talent. That's not what's going to happen. You got to put yourself out there. And I know a lot of times that's tough. I get it because you don't want to be out there like that. But in order for your talents to be discovered, you got to get out there. All right, Libra? Okay. Scorpio, include friends and family members in your redecorating plans. Social activities should be on your agenda today. Your mate could get on your nerves and he or she backs and you into an emotional corner or put restrictions on your time your mate is gonna get on your nerves that's the bottom line it listen you don't like to be put into a corner so they're gonna get on your nerve and but here's the thing um don't let them just don't let them don't let them don't let them don't let them back you um don't let them back you into a corner if you if you can help it if you can help it, right? And this, tell them, listen, let's go outside. Let's let's go somewhere. You're not going to get on my nerve today. I'm not going to let you, you know, I'm going to, we're going to go outside. We're going to do something. We're going to do some social activity today. We're going to have some fun. Sagittarius, you may find yourself in an uncomfortable situation if you have overloaded your plate unintentionally. Someone may be trying to take advantage of you. Don't blow the situations out of proportion. Don't let anybody take advantage of you. Not today, Sagittarius, not ever, right? Don't. And, and if you put too much stuff on your plate, take some off. It's easy. Like, listen, go through, do inventory, do some inventory and figure out, hmm, do I need to do this? Do I need to do that? Do I even like doing that? Is this something I definitely have to do right now? And take some of that stuff off your plate. I'm telling you, the more I take off my plate, the lighter I feel. Literally. I've removed a bunch of stuff off my plate and I sleep better. Because when I wake up, I don't have so many things to do. And it's a good thing. Capricorn, consider the source before you believe what you hear. Focus and concentrate on yourself and your future. It's time to let your true feelings out. Ooh, that's scary, right, Cap? It's time to let your true feelings out. Now, if that's a matter of love, that's a little scary because you don't know, especially if you don't know if that person feels the same way. But here's the thing. They may be waiting on you, right? They may be waiting on you to say, hey, this is how I feel. Yep, they may be waiting for you first to let you know how they feel. So let them out. But just be prepared. Because sometimes, now here's, let me say this. Let me just say this. If you have been getting red flags that you know are not in your favor, then chances are they're just not that into you. Remember that guy wrote that book, They're Just Not That Into You? I remember my mom telling me that. She was like, he's just not that into her. Because my mom had seen the guy on, I think it was either Oprah or Dr. Phil or something. He had written a book. Um, he's just not that into you. So every time she would hear like, you know, me and my friends talking about God, she was like, he's just not that into her. But she was right. So don't let them, if you see the red flags, then don't put your feelings out there. Right? That's that's the bottom line. Aquarius, don't invest too much of your own money. Be diplomatic, but stem. Yeah, but stern. Um, short trips will be educational. Don't invest too much of your own money. You know the old saying, other people's money? Other people's money, yeah. So, so something is wrong with my microphone. So I'm getting a message that they can hear me on Facebook. They can hear me on 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 LinkedIn, but it's choppy. So y'all yeah, gotta know I gotta end this broadcast because it's gonna drive me crazy. It's gonna drive me crazy. 
So I can't, like after I finish the horoscope, unfortunately, guys, I cannot, I can't do the chopping because then you're going to judge me. You're going to judge me. Um, and I, and I'm, and it's going to drive me crazy if I had to do it the whole time, you know, so I'm coming through choppy. Don't know why. Um, I'm still trying to see if you can hear me on the, on my, on the streaming platform, on the podcast platform. But anyway, let me keep it going. Last but not least, my fellow fish Pisces, you may be able to impart knowledge that's innovative. Oh, this sounds like me. Innovative to the, to those searching for a new angle. Watch your tendency to live for the day and to spend too much on entertainment and children. It could set you back. Join a choir, not me. Join a choir or a, or a drama club. You may be considering moving to larger quarters. I'm not moving anywhere. I just move. I'm not joining a choir. Um, I'm not spending too much money. I don't know about you, fish. Now, the whole, you know, impart knowledge that's innovative. Yeah, I could see myself doing that. Maybe even joining joining a drama club. That's about it. But that's all I can see myself doing right now. I can't see myself doing anything else but those two things. I'm not spending a whole lot of money on entertainment. I'm not joining the choir. And I'm definitely not about to move. Not unless God said, hey, you got to go. And I don't, he just told me that. So I don't think I'm going to be doing that. All right. So listen, that's all the horoscopes I got for you today. Unfortunately, my friends on live streaming video, I cannot go on if you're hearing me choppy. I will be back tomorrow. I will check my system and see why you're hearing me choppy. But for right now, I got to go. So listen, I hope you got your horoscopes at least. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. with my issues fixed. So stay tuned until that time. All right. I'm going to keep going over here on the, on the live stream platform, on the, on the podcast. If you want to keep listening, go to the podcast. All right, listen, guys. I don't know what's going on. My system seems to be acting ugly today, uh, unfortunately. I see that my I see that everything is going good here in the studio on the podcast side. It looks good, so hopefully you can hear me. But my video people couldn't hear me. I was choppy, and so I don't know why I'm choppy over there. But I will not let myself be choppy. And I'm wondering though. I'm wondering. I don't know. I gotta. I gotta check that out. You know, stuff like this bothers me. So y'all, this is what happens when you live stream, right? That's what happens. Nothing I can really do about it at this point. Um, but keep moving. All right, so let's keep moving. Um, okay. So let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's get on with some news you can use right now. There's a lot going on um, when it comes to um, a lot of things that's happening right now when it comes to Facebook. So I know you guys probably heard the whole... You, you probably were a part of that whole uh, Facebook not working on Monday because I was the, I was like, what the freak is going on? Well, apparently, people seem to think that this whistleblower that came out had something to do with Facebook shutting down. Now, I was doing a live podcast, a live video cast on, on Monday um, with my new podcast, um, which is called um, Built Together, and it's Blacks United and Leading Technology. So I was doing that podcast on Monday. And I was trying to live stream to Facebook and I kept getting this error that, you know, I couldn't live stream to Facebook. I'm like, why not? Well, apparently Facebook had a whistleblower that was about to go testify. And they think they think Facebook people were trying to get it all straight before she testified. But anyway, she uh, she blew the whistle. She blew the whistle. So the Facebook whistleblower who released tens of thousands of pages of internal research and documents indicating the company was aware of various problems caused by its app, including Instagram potential tox toxic effect on teen girls, um, called on Congress to take action against the social media platform in a testimony before a state Senate committee on Tuesday. So she she says she tens of thousands of um, uh, uh, pages of documents, tens of thousands. She's a former employee at Facebook. She was a product manager who worked on civic integrity issues at the company and faced questions from a commerce subcommittee about what Facebook owned Instagram knew about its effect on young users, among other issues. So people seem to think that that whole Facebook going down on Monday had something to do with them trying to get in front of this, uh, this testimony that took place yesterday. So, you know, it's a lot swerving around. Let me tell y'all something. Although I love technology, if used the wrong way, it could be detrimental to a lot of people. There are people who actually probably lost their minds on Monday because Facebook was just, you know, just down. Like, that's their life. Their life is being on Facebook, which is crazy. You wouldn't think that would be the case, but that's the case. 
Um, you wouldn't think that people would be stuck on, you know, Facebook like that, but that's the case. So people probably lost their, lost it. They probably really did lose it. And it's crazy because um, that could happen again. So what, what that needs to, what you need to think about is, okay, I need to get a life, like for real. Like I need a life beyond this life that I have right now. So she, she blew the whistle. Thousands. I remember when I watched, I don't know if you guys ever saw the movie Snowden. I watched that movie and he was really struggling with doing the right things. And, and Russia let him in and he still, I think lives in Russia, but he was like, I can't, I can't sit by and go through this. And he, he blew the whistle. He was a whistleblower and he told a lot of secrets and because he saw what was going on behind the scenes. And you know, what's, what's sad is that when these people launch these companies, I think they have good intentions, but the bigger the company gets, the worse the intentions become, which is kind of crazy. Now, I've always been told that when you become successful, your success and money only brings out more of who you are. So if you are this crazy person who's doing all these crazy things, that's embedded in you, right? That's already embedded and all this money and attention and fame and resources make you worse. You know, so that's, that's what it is. So Snowden, when, if you have not seen the movie Snowden, go check it out. It's probably on, on um, Netflix or Amazon Prime or something, but it was very interesting when I watched it. Very, very interesting. I was like, wow, it was, it was eye opening to say the least. The, the thing is we, we are living in an age where you can't live without, you know, you cannot live without, um, technology. You just can't, you know, um, it, it's just one of those things that as we move forward, <laughs> You know, it's a big part of our lives. It really is. All right, I'm going to go to a song. I'll be right back after the song to give you more of the rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. Stay tuned. Yeah. I'm tongue-tied, twisted around your finger like a piece of string. I'm winded, chasing after your ghost is real exhausting. I'm in love, but I don't feel it's what I thought it was supposed to be Love story, no guts and no glory How did I get so dizzy thinking of you? I don't usually get like this It's something about you I miss Could it be we never had that kiss? Well, I don't usually get like this Get like, get like this Get like this Get like this Get like this Get like, get like this Tried to catch it falling Instead I fell off myself And I just can't stop falling These wings are gonna flap for me If I keep waiting Keep waiting Keep waiting Keep waiting Keep waiting How did I get so dizzy Thinking of you I don't usually get like this it's something about you I miss Could it be we never had that kiss? I just wanna kiss you Well, I don't usually get like this Get like
never have that. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.